Okay, on our Cricut Maker, these rollers have went bad. We ordered some off of Amazon that are made out of harder material. You heat them up to slide them on this rod. We got four of them, so if this happens again, I have two replacements. Chemilab 4-pack for Cricut Roller Replacement. And I've already started it. I had to pop this top piece out. Just take a screwdriver, be very careful. And as you can see on the back side, there's tabs in the middle that clip it in. So you're gonna get your screwdriver underneath the edge, toward the middle, and then pry up and try not to break it. <laughs> So I've already done that and then back here you're gonna see these screws that hold this lid on we're gonna remove them I've already got three off and I'm just using a really small it's actually a straight slot but it's working to get them off so I'm gonna take those off and then I will continue okay I've got the little screws out I just left them in this tray and then this lid is just going to pop up like that, it just slides in, you're just gonna pull straight up. And then we will go to the next step. Okay, I removed those little screws because we're gonna flip this over so we can access the bottom. Now what we're gonna do on the bottom is we're gonna pop these rubber plugs out. I may need a, oh, there's one out right there. There's two out three out and four out and then we're going to have some screws up inside this hole here I don't know if I can get a shot of them or not it should be a Phillips and we're going to remove those as you can see I've got the first screw removed from right there and I've got three more one in each corner to remove and I'm using a small Phillips head okay now you're gonna open up your door here and behind your cutter I don't know if I can get this in video or not there's seven screws there's one right there let's see here up in this plate on the, the top side on the bottom of the top there's seven screws. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. There's one. Okay. There. There's one right in the center of the screen. There's one over here on the left of the screen. But there, I believe there's seven up in there that we have to remove. One in the center there. Also Phillips. And I'm fixing to remove those. Now when you're looking at this, you're going to see four screws. You can see the hole. There's one there. And then there's one there. And then there's two on the other side. And the three, to make it equal seven, is going to be up against the lip more. Right along the edge. So you can't really see them. You have to feel for it. Now... Uh, the best bet is to get you uh, one of those small ratcheting screwdrivers. I couldn't find mine, so what I ended up doing is I put the little Phillips bit in a socket. And the ones that I couldn't get loose with my fingers, I went ahead and put a wrench on it just to loosen it. Once you get them popped loose, you can take them out with this and most of them I did without the wrench so the seven screws are now out now that those seven screws that's up in this top part what they do is they hold this top plate on along with the four that we took out of each corner on the bottom this will lift off as you can see here 
I may need both hands to get it up, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. But now that those screws are out, we're just going to lift that top cover off. That top cover did lift right off. And be aware that on the right hand side, there are wires that are connected to that cover. So for now, I just rested it behind the main body of the machine. Let's see if I can get a shot of the wires. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's the wires that go up in there and they're connected to the machine with a plug right here. So you can't, well, I'm getting my hand. They're connected to the machine with that plug right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that so it's out of the way. Okay, this is the plug. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. This is the plug that I unplugged from right here. I just took a screwdriver in there and pried up on each corner and it just came right up. So now I can get that out of the way. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, looking at the front of the machine there, on the right hand side where the motor is right here, we're gonna come down, we're gonna remove this spring then we're going to remove this C spring or C clamp on that roller, that rod right there. So I'm just going to take some needle nose, remove this, and then I'm going to remove this clamp. Okay, the spring is removed. I just got suppliers, pulled it up over this, and then it come off of the bottom. Okay. I made a mistake. Do not remove this C-clamp on the big one. You're wanting to remove the clamp on the small one. So that's actually where the roller's at. And then we're gonna remove this plate right here. Keep some napkins handy because there is some grease on this that you'll get dirty. So we're gonna remove not that bottom one, the top clamp in this little bracket right here. Okay, I removed that C-clamp off of this, C-clip. Now, I believe you can pry this bracket off right here. There may be a washer here too, so we'll see if it, I think there's a washer right here. I'm gonna have to use two hands on that. It may just be made into the bracket. Okay, so this bracket has a brass bushing that's pressed into it. So when you remove it, that whole piece with the brass bushing will come off of that rod. As you can see right there. Okay, now we're coming to the opposite end. This will be the left-hand side. And we have to remove this motor. There's screw there, screw there. Looks like there may be two or three screws on this side. I'll find out when we get in there. So I'm going to find a screwdriver and take these loose. Okay, there was four screws. That held this motor and bracket on. There was two silver ones on the left hand side, two black ones on the right hand side, and then the motor will come off. And we're just going to fold it back out of the way. There's also a bracket right here that helps support that motor. And it had the two black screws that held it on, and then the foot just slid over that piece of plastic right there. So the motor's off now and that bracket's out of the way. And then we're going to, you see this gear? I'm just pulling it out. 
how to get a better picture of this. See where I'm at here. We're just going to pull that. So I'm going to do like the other side, and I'm going to remove this spring right here. And then I'm going to see if I can get that clip off that's in there, just like the other side. And if I can, I'll be able to get that rod out. So let's just, right now the goal is to get this spring and the clip off of the rod end down in there. Just like the other side. Okay, with a little bit of effort, I pushed that rod through this side, the right side, until it popped out of the left side. I left that gear is still in place. All I did is remove the spring and the C-clip that was on this side of this bar. This little brass bushing with the bracket that we removed on the right side, we left on this side because you can't get it off with those gears there. But now that I've got it out of this side, I should be able to work it forward and wiggle it out of the machine. Okay, I have it out of the machine now. I just lifted kind of up and out on that corner and pulled until the rod came out. And if you notice, the rod is different on this end. It goes in the right side. It has a step down and the rod on the left does not have a step down. So these rollers are already wore out, so they'll just slide right off. But I am going to heat some water up to 170 degrees and soak these, heat them up before I slide them on. So right now I'm going to remove these these rollers. The rollers on the right are the ones I just took off. They're all stretched out. And the rollers on the left are the new ones. So I'm going to go put them in 170 degree water, let them heat up a little bit, and then we will slide them back on the rod. I thought I should also point out that there is a groove where the new rollers will go. So when I slide the new rollers on, I'll slide them to this groove. So let's just go ahead and chunk these old ones. And I have the new ones soaking in water, hot water. Okay, I have those rollers sit on there. Like I said, I soaked them in hot water and they were still really hard to get on there. So I got a piece of wood so I didn't damage the end of the rod. And then I got the roller started and it just happened I had a jack handle handle that fit over the rod. And then I used, I had one end on this board And then I didn't need the other block of wood. I could just, I get enough leverage on this handle, this pipe, that I could push that right on. And they did go right on. So those are on. Now we're just going to do the opposite of what we did to take this rod out. And I'm going to clean everything up a little bit because there was some grease that got on the area where that roller is. So I'm going to clean that up. We're going to reinstall that and should be good to go. So reinstalling the rod. Remember I said one side had to step down? Here, I gotta clean that up. Okay, as you see, I got that rod slid back in there. I put the step in down on the right side, pushed it through the hole until I could wiggle this side back in. And then I pushed it back into this brass fitting here. Okay, after you get the rod slid in, back in, the first thing you want to do on this left side with this gear is you want to put that C-clip back on that rod. I'm going to try to use a small screwdriver, slide it in there and just press it on. Uh, pulled this gear back out so I had a little room to work. And then you're going to put the spring on. Then you're going to put this motor and the bracket that held that motor back on. But first, I'm going to put that C-clip on and the uh, then the spring, and then the motor. 
Okay guys, I got it all back together. We've got the new rollers in place. I fired everything back up and I just printed out a simple figure. As you can see, it did just fine. Paper loaded fine. Uh, one thing I will say, when you put this rod back in, on this left side, you've got the gears. Be very careful putting that C clip back on that rod because if you drop it and it slides under, you have to take the rest of the screws off the bottom and separate the bottom from the body to get that C clip, put it back together, and try again. So uh, just a warning there, just be really careful not to drop that clip. But other than that, it wasn't all that hard. It just took a little bit of time. And it's really hard getting to these screws that's up in here. But as you can see, we're good to go. I hope this might help you if you run into the problem to where you have to put these rollers on. And uh, good luck if you have to. Have a good day.